This is a patient of cirrhosis of liver who presented with massive distension of abdomen. Ultrasound shows significant ascites. Small bowel loops are seen floating in the ascitic fluid. Fluid is seen extending from the epigastrium, hypochondrium, all the way up to the suprapubic region. Lack of particulate matter in the fluid suggests that this is serous ascitic fluid. Next, we go to the spleen, which appears mildly enlarged. Thus, we have two findings, ascites and mild splenomegaly. Let's have a look at the splenic vein also. On color Doppler, the splenic vein measures 14 millimeters in diameter, which is grossly abnormal. Moderate dilation of the splenic vein suggests evidence of portal hypertension. The splenic vein is seen in blue color here. Adjacent to the splenic vein is the splenic artery, seen in red. There is no evidence of splenic varices in the splenic hilum region. This is one good sign that we see in this patient. Now we move over to the liver, which appears nodular and bathed in ascitic fluid. Observe the surface of the liver outlined by ascitic fluid, seen with nodularity. In addition, the liver is fibrotic and shrunken in size. This suggests advanced cirrhotic changes in the liver. The liver and gallbladder are outlined by the ascitic fluid. Observe the liver outlined by the ascitic fluid. This appears to be the right lobe with grossly nodular surface. The liver is almost completely surrounded by ascitic fluid. Next, we come to the portal vein. On color Doppler, the flow in the portal vein appears centripetal or flow towards the liver. This is another good sign. The portal vein, though moderately dilated, does not show reverse flow. Forward or centripetal flow in the portal vein is seen in red color. If the flow in the portal vein, vein were reversed, then it would indicate a very poor prognosis for this patient. Next, we come to the spectral Doppler of the portal vein, which appears normal. There is forward flow and normal phasicity. Another good sign.